And here's the thing about Batman, all right? Just so you know, you Batman people right now, is that, here's the thing, I think he's really cool. All right, Batman, you know, had some terrible thing, his parents died, and now he dresses like a bat, right? But the thing is, is that I don't like Batman on principle because he's a rich kid. Do you get that, right? See, if you were born poor and you became rich, I kind of respect you, but if you were born rich and you stayed rich, you'd be kind of a piece of shit. Right? Like, I don't, I don't like rich people for the same reason why I don't like people with big dicks, okay? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> All right. The thing is, rich people and people with big dicks, they didn't work for that, okay? They just inherited it from their dad. Their <laughs> shit, shit dad. Because, right. guys, if we had to go to the OBGYN, it would be a totally different entrance for our doctor, right? Because, first of all, we'd be scared shitless because we're wearing nothing but a paper robe and we're in this position. We're just shaking like one of those dogs in that Sarah McLachlan commercial, like, in the eyes of the angels, let them show. Right? And then the lights would turn off, like, and a smoke machine would start up, like, and then lasers be like, pew, 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 pew. And then music would start, like, and then you hear the announcer, ladies and gentlemen, now entering exam room for a graduate of Johns Hopkins University, weighing in at 235 pounds, give it up for Dr. Freddy Finger Bang Goldstein. He come in like Triple H, like, I won't go down without a fight. We got the Fitbit. Keeps track of all your steps. If you reach 10,000 steps a day, you get a dollar toward an Amazon gift card. But it stops at 10,000. Doesn't give you more for 11,000 or 12,000. And after walking around, I decided, well, let me strap it to my ankle. Oh, same difference. Let's just stand in front of Crunchyroll, Marathon JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, and just do this. It counts the number of steps. <laughs> and for most of the men in this audience, you might recognize this motion. From age 13 to the, until the day you goddamn die. <laughs> if we had Fitbit technology when I was 13 years old and we just got AOL in the basement and I just discovered what La Blue Girl was, <laughs> we would have bought the house by 17. Uh, We'd have I'm just, I'm happy that we made it because uh, my GPS is broken. All, yeah, all my GPS knows how to do is search for satellites just endlessly and finds nothing. And if it does that for too long, it freaks out. It's like, um, are we inside? It's like, no, we're not inside. It's okay. Just keep searching. You'll find it. It's good. Uh, what's the date? What's the date? Because that means my GPS just went, did we time travel? <laughs> it's okay if we did, but you got to tell me. Because you kept it under 88 the whole time, and your car doesn't seem that much bigger on the inside than from the outside. <laughs> and I didn't hear the Ocarina of Time come on the radio, so we shouldn't have. That deserved more. <laughs> know how hard that is? That is a Back to the Future joke, followed by a Doctor Who joke, followed by a Legend of Zelda joke, in one joke. That's so hard to do. Yeah, that's right. And I explained it to you so you don't have to ask Skynet later. Four, Terminator, boom!